one of the initiative of Bola Metinibu is the creation of a student loan. Now, this loan was created to give Nigerian students the opportunity to assess federal government loan with little or no interest at all. And the repayment period is very, very favorable. The Nigerian Education Loan Fund, NEFON, was created to handle and oversee the creation and disbursement of this loan to Nigerian students. The portal was created and Nigerian students from the federal institutions were asked to apply for this loan. Yesterday, NEFON released the list of institutions whose students have benefited from the loan so far. The list has generated so much controversy. There are many good policies in this country. But implementation is the problem. When this student loan came up, one of the fears of the people is its implementation and getting to the right people that needed the loan. Nefom released the list of institutions whose students have benefited from this loan disbursement. Unfortunately, or should I say fortunately, because we expected it to happen, institutions from the southeast were conspicuously missing. Like Students from the Southeast institution did not benefit from this loan disbursement so far. Let me read out the names of the institutions that have benefited so far as was released by NEFOM and the amount they got. University of Meduguri, 589 million. University of Ibadan, 201 million, 114,650,000. University of Ilorin, 52,897,890,000 University of Bini 24,412,500 Federal University Dusimai 304,961,800 Tikanu 853,775,000 Federal College of Education Abiyokuta 1,000,000 946,700 Federal University of Technology Mina 62,928,600 Obafemi Awolowo University Ilefe 50,414,000 Federal Polytechnic Ilaro 8,347,465 University of Lagos 122 million 494,400 University of Jos 209,320,000 ,000. Federal College of Education Technical Gaswa 15,600,200 Federal College of Education Special Oyo 18,502,500 Federal University Duse 207,106,000 Federal University Binikebi, Federal University Binikebi, 130 million. Madube Adamo University Adamawa, 83 million, 837,000. Federal Polytechnic Bauchi, 7 million, 208,800. Federal Polytechnic Mobi, 2 million, 45,500. A total of 2 billion, 946 million. 727,155 Naira has been disbursed so far to 27,666 students belonging to 19 federal university courts across the country. In all of these, students from the Southeast, university from the Southeast, we are all conspicuously missing. Something is wrong in this country something is deliberately wrong in this country and the people at the helm of affairs they don't seem to care they are doing whatever thing they are doing with impunity the creation of government is to cater for the welfare of the people government is all about trust for a government to be successful you need to earn trust from the people you are leading over the years one major thing that Nigerians have come to realize is that they lack trust where their government officials are. Whenever government lists out anything they want to do, the people will always have this apprehension towards the government because over the years, government have shown lack of trust and accountability to the people. 
when this student loan was announced a lot of persons were apprehensive about it they said that it will not get to the people that need it some persons were of the opinion that students that will benefit from this loan are those whose parents or guardians are in government or working in the civil service not the real nigerians whose parents are suffering from the harsh economic realities from bolami etinibu and some equally predicted that students from the Southeast universities will be excluded from this scheme. And it turns out to be so. No single university from the Southeast was included in this scheme. Now, how do you have to explain this? Some persons were saying that the students from the Southeast did not participate in the loan scheme, that they did not apply for it. Whereas students from the Southeast, they've been releasing their application details showing that they applied for this loan. In fact, a student from the University of Nsuka UNN said she applied for this scheme but she was not considered. Nobody from the Southeast was given a chance of this loan. How do you have to explain this? Tell me how you have to explain this. In a country where some part of the country they are feeling marginalized, they are feeling neglected, look at everything happening in this country. You will realize that the people from the Southeast, they've been cut off from everything that have to do with the federal government and politics. But over the years, the federal government keeps showing their disdain, their hatred towards the people from the Southeast. And you want to tell me that this country, we are one. We are not one cannot be talking about unity when you keep excluding a particular region from the scheme of things especially when it has to do with the federal government presence now one thing you need to understand is that the people from the south is they are not even begging for the unity but you are the ones that are begging for the unity you are the ones that are forcing them to be in nigeria they have told you time with that number they want to be on their own they want to go their separate ways but you don't want them to go their separate ways the last time they attempt to go on their separate ways, the federal government forced them back into Nigeria by killing millions of innocent Biafrans. The attitude of the Nigerian state on the people from the southeast is horrible and pathetic. Take a look at this list. These are the past chief justice of the federation. No one from the southeast. The only person from the south south which is Water S. Onegan was disgraced out of office by President Muhammadu Buhari. Every other person you see here are the people from the southwest, people from the north. This particular list is the list of the president, the vice president, the senate president, the speaker, and the chief justice of the federation from 1999 to date. When you go through this list, you will see the disparity that is involved in the Nigerian political landscape. All through this list, the only time someone from the southeast had a shot at the top echelon position in this country was during President Olusegun Obasanjo's tenure during the 1999 to 2007, which was a Senate president position. That is the reason I keep telling people Obasanjo is the best president this country has ever had. This man was not a tribal bigot. This man was a nationalist. He ensured that he selects people from every part of the region. He ensured that everything in this country was based on merit, based on competency. It was nothing like nepotism under President Olusegu Obasanjo. Everything that this country holds dearly is being destroyed by the APC government. From 2015 till now, everything has been all about nepotism, tribalism, Appointment is no more based on merit. This is the reason why the country is where we are today. Things are not done the way it was supposed to be done. People are not being carried along. A lot of people are being neglected in this country. And you cannot move a country forward by neglecting some section of the people. What Nephon did is condemnable and everyone should lay their voice to that everybody should be carried along the money for this loan is not Bola Metinibu's money it is the federal republic of nigeria money everyone as long as you are a nigerian you are meant to participate in this as long as you apply it should not be based on geopolitical zone or ethnicity everyone that needs this loan should be given the opportunity to assess it the federal government should learn to do things the right way because their body language is sending a wrong signal out there to people thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video